hi welcome to my channel again today I will show you how to integrate mail enable user authentication with Windows users Windows username and password will be mail enables username and password and the mailbox will be automatically created if the user authenticated successfully first I will show you standard Windows authentication and later we will integrate with Active Directory so let's get started Let's open the local username and password, the manage, computer management, local users and groups. Let's create some new user, user1, We're creating two user that will do now now on the mail enable first we have to enable the Windows integration from the messaging manager on the security tab here enable integrated Windows authentication here it says Integrated authentication allow you to configure each post office to authenticate with the Windows credentials. So let's go to the post office now. Enable here use integrated Windows authentication. Use post office name as the Windows domain name. That's okay. Authenticate against Active Directory. I'll show you a little later. Automatically create mailbox if successful login and one doesn't exist. And user must authenticate against Windows user and not fall back to mail enable configured password. That is okay. So the mail enables password will not work. It will always authenticate through the Windows authentication. Okay. So now we don't need to create any mailbox here. Let's go to the webmail. So let's say user1 and its password. okay so we successfully logged in that means the windows authentication is working new email account notification so now if we hit refresh then we see that user one created and from the pc2 let's log in with the user2 click login so user2 also can log in so new email account creation notification now if we hit refresh again so user 2 also created so windows authentication is working now if we go to the user 1 properties and change the password let's say 1 2 3 4 5 we're changing now if we log out from the webmail and try to log in with the new password one two three four five you can see that unknown or disabled user because this password won't work it will always work with the windows authentication so now if we change the password from the windows set password one two three four five six one two three four five six password set now if we type one two three four five six it can log in again so we have successfully integrated mail enable with the standard windows authentication now let's see how to do the same thing with the windows active directory here i have uh, logged in my domain environment here you can see i have logged into dc.mailserverguru.com this is the domain controller and my mail server mailer.mailserverguru.com this one is joined to this domain here you can see that it is joined to the domain so to configure the active directory integration first we need to select the enable integrated authentication and second on the post office side we have to select this option authenticate against active directory and 
we select the use post office name as the windows domain name because our windows domain name and the post office domain name is same so we can select this option or we can map this post office to the following domain we can select this option and we have to specify the domain name here but we don't need it right now now let's go to the active directory users and computers new user let's say user one user one so user one created now create user two So we have created user one and two. Now on the mail server, we do not have any mailbox here. Now from the PC one, if we can log in with the user one at the rate mail server guru dot com. user one and password let's log in user one at mail server guru.com now user one can log in okay here you can see the new email account creation notification and from pc2 user 2 okay so user 2 can log in also now if we go to the mail server hit the refresh here you can see that user 1 and user 2 created so we have successfully integrated mail enable with the windows active directory also so this is it for today if you still didn't subscribe to my channel please subscribe it will encourage me a lot to create more videos for you so thank you i'll see you on the next video bye